Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I love this project. Take a look at this quilt. This is our Peekaboo Jack. He looks like he's just like leaning out to say hello. We all love fall and it's here and this quilt is so easy you will have plenty of time to make this before Halloween. Now I often make a quilt that I know will look good hanging from my porch. And this is one of those quilts. This is gonna look darling hanging from my porch. The trouble I had in putting this together was gathering enough oranges and enough blacks, the right amounts of both, and not having you have to buy too many different packs of things. And so our friends at Riley Blake put together these layer cakes of these darling fabrics that you see behind me. And they're just perfect for this. And so you'll need two packs of those to do that. They also put together this awesome backing piece that you can buy. It's already packaged and ready to go. Entirely up to you, of course. And so let's talk about how you make this. So we have this little diagram and basically all you're doing is sewing squares together until you get to the half square triangles. There are 24 half square triangles on here. And let me show you how we did these because I didn't want to cut all my squares into four and a half inch pieces. I wanted to leave them five inches. And so what we're going to do for our half square triangles is we are also going to make those so they come out five inches. So we are going to take our layer cake pieces and we're going to put a black with an orange and we are going to cut those in two just like this. And then we are going to sew right on the line. So we are going to draw a line. I'm going to flip these over because it'll be easier to see the line. So you're going to cut your two squares into five inch squares and we're going to draw the line just like this corner to corner, and we are going to sew on the line. So if you sew to either side, your half square triangle will be four and a half, um, which you could do, but then you would have to cut your squares at four and a half because they all have to match and be the same size. So I did mine, I left mine at five, and what I'm going to do is sew right on these lines and trim this part off. Now don't get rid of this because we're going to come up with something amazing to do with that. All of us are, I just know it. And I may do something amazing and show you uh, at a later date. You know I have that baggie of half square triangles. So I'm going to sew right on the line and I'm going to do that to all four of these. You're going to want to put six pairs together um, of 10 inch squares because you need a total of 24. And one more. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to trim off this side just like this. And if you want to, you can go ahead and sew like a half an inch over from that line and then those little squares will already be sewn together as well. But for the sake of today's video, I'm just going to show you how to do this. All right, now what we're going to do is we are going to go over to the iron and we are going to press these open and I'm going to lay the black to the top so that our seam hides behind the darker fabric. All right, and then you're going to do this. So you're going to do this to six sets. And then when you put them in, what you want to realize is that you can use either side. So it can go this way, like this, you know, or over here it can come like this. So, you know, you'll use either the orange in or the black in for whatever it is that you're going. And you'll need 24 of those total to make it because we've got some here around the mouth, we've got some around the nose, around this side of the eye. Up here in the corner there's a few and we've used the black to border it. Now across the top we've got We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 
by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So it's 16 squares wide by 19 long. We didn't put a border on it. We just bound it. But look at the binding. I asked him, I said, if I could have a stripe for the binding, I would love it. And of course, Riley Blake found a stripe for the binding and it just looks adorable. The backing on this is that nice orange that I showed you. And if you look carefully, especially on the black, the quilting on this we used was our spider webs quilting. And it shows up so perfectly in the black and we used orange thread. It makes a great quilt. The size of this quilt is 72 by 85. So it's a great size, perfect for hanging on your porch. I have several friends that have birthdays on Halloween. This would be a great gift for them. It's something that you'll be able to make easily before that day arrives. And we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the Peekaboo Pumpkin from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you aren't already part of the Missouri Star Quilt Company family, be sure to subscribe so you won't miss a thing. And if you click that bell, it'll notify you every time a new tutorial comes out. See you next Friday.